gals, fellow collectors. Boy, have we got a show today. Have we got a show today. <clears throat> Obviously, you know, we have a show today. But have we got a show today. <clears throat> so Christmas came late. We'll get into that in a minute. <clears throat> because what I promised you guys was the unboxing of this. So we'll, we'll get through this. And... Uh, then we'll move on to everything else. Can't see my camera. There we go. All right. How are you doing? Hope you all had a good week. Uh, this was made by uh, Super Duck. There was two companies that were offering, uh, two third-party companies that were offering the Mantis and Super Duck and the, uh, don't remember the other one. When I looked at the prototypes of both, I felt this was the better presented of the two. So I ordered this one instead of the other. The other was been released, gosh, maybe over a year. And I think this was announced like in, uh, gosh, I don't even know, like 2018 or something. And uh, I, don't remember, I don't remember to tell you the truth. 2018 or 2019, a long time ago, very long time ago, I've been waiting for this. So this was a set 39, uh, the Super Duck, right? The Mantis, she's called the uh, Insect Lady. And it was shown with the S12D. So of course I've had this S12D that I haven't opened up either, specifically for her, because this was, was the, the figure that they had uh, showcased it with. Since then, of course, a lot more fights and figures have come out. Um, and uh, Jow Doll has made quite a, uh, an impression in this collectible world so i'm not sure if i'm going to stay with the 12d for it but uh um let's open up and see what we got toys mafia how you doing man good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you happen to be all of y'all matt 2310 what's up jake good morning i as well hope everyone is well <clears throat> And uh, CBS Sci-Fi, how are you? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Tea and toast. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I remember um, <clears throat> I, had a, uh, I had a good friend of mine lived in England, or the United Kingdom. I really don't know where she lived. <laughs> Someplace over there in Great Britain where they had afternoon tea and biscuits or whatever, and uh, she used to tell me about how her and her girlfriends like to go into this particular hotel because of the biscuits they served. Now, I swear to God, in the United States, especially 20 years ago, when I uh, talked to her a lot online, the uh, a biscuit to us is something that you have, um, more or less, uh, with breakfast or dinner, and it's, a, it's bread that you would uh, butter or even make into a sandwich, and that's what a biscuit is, a flaky biscuit um so it's always so funny hearing her talk about that and and i've since then learned that what you guys call biscuits are are what we would call cookies so tea and cookies at the four o'clock in the afternoon is delightful I, that sounds like a great thing to have the tea and biscuits to me i'm like really you're enjoying a flaky buttery cornbread biscuit at four o'clock in the afternoon with tea that's that's as creative as you got but man Tea and cookies? Oh, now that's something to look forward to, I can imagine. So when that, when I ordered, when I pre-ordered this, again, I don't even remember how long ago it was. It may have been two and a half years ago. I have no idea. I'd have to look it up. I think, I think in the description below, I think I stated if you wanted to look. Um, even the uh, seller, I think this was 1-6 kit. I think it's who I bought this from stated that this company takes like forever and a day to release the products that they announced. But upon initial inspection of this, I uh, I haven't seen any huge flaws. And I guess I would rather wait two years than to have some crap produced. Because Hot Toys is pretty good at producing crap anymore, it seems like. It seems like with that first Deadpool, that was like the beginning of it. 
And then actually when you start going backwards, you realize that all these figures are starting to fall apart. Makes you wonder how much quality really is in there. The sculpts may be great, but so look at the seams here. I'm just looking for anything that could possibly be done poorly. We have a little uh, threading going on there, but I can just cut that off. Or burn it off, whichever. Um, sometimes just setting a little flame to the thread will burn it down and cause the nylon to seal. So if it's like a nylon thread, if you burn it, it seals it so it doesn't unravel. Cutting it sometimes will make it worse. It looks pretty good, these uh, these pants do. They're elastic, so there's no, uh, there's no flap on them. So I'll show this to you. That, that um, pleating or whatever it is, all the way down there, it looks really nice. It's nicely sewn. Um, and I don't know what the other Mantis ended up looking like. But this is looking pretty nice. So far, so good. And again, this type of material that this is manufactured out of, this is a material that literally will just start breaking down and falling apart. If you guys know for fact of anybody that's ever put anything on this to preserve it, and, and or if any of you, specifically you, have done that and have preserved your um, figures and kept them from falling apart, I would be very interested. I would, uh, I would not want to just start throwing chemical on these personally um, without knowing exactly how it's going to turn out. Because I already know that they all have the potential of dissolving, okay? Which has been a great shock to me. A little thread there. Uh, a great shock to me when my figures start dissolving on me. It really pisses me off. Um, especially when you have some that are very expensive. The zipper on this is upside down. It's very interesting. So it unzips down there at the bottom and zips up tight at the top. And I guess that makes sense because you'll be pulling it over her head, right? So you need to get this around her hips and might as well leave this cranked at the top, right? Interesting concept there. I wouldn't have imagined doing it that way. The belt is a magnet. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so the belt buckle on this side is sewn into the um, suit. The belt buckle on this side is a little magnet. Should have done my research before going into this. So the belt buckle never comes actually together. It doesn't that's as close as it gets looking at the picture. That's that's the extent of what it's supposed to be. This pleating all over everything. This is amazing. This must have been what took so long to do. Because I can't imagine going down to like the fabric store and buying that piece of fabric already pleated like that. So I'm going to assume that somebody literally ran this right along their their sewing machine and just zipped this up, you know? Um, that's quite quite impressive. So needless to say, with, a, with an enclosed boot, you don't have to have a seamless ankle. You're not going to see it. And... Um, Trying to see inside of that. So we're not going to put a foot in here at all. So you can't use a seamless ankle. There's actually a, uh, I doubt you can see it, but there's a, uh, there's a foot in there more or less. Um, so we're going to snap that insert. So you definitely don't want a seamless ankle if you're buying this Super Duck Set 039 and plan on using these boots for that. I... I I don't see anything that's standing out uh, to me as being crappy or, you know, not of, of uh, the attention to detail on this is really uh, so far so good. 
I don't know why this threading on the outside of this arm is gold while the threading on everything else here pardon me is black but on these armbands that's gold around the outside of it so I don't know if that's a mistake or if that's the way it's supposed to be in uh, comparison to the movie figure so this is what we're really looking for that's great I think I don't remember which one of these two I thought was the better than the other company that had made this figure and of course Hot Toys is planning on releasing one as well I don't remember whether or not they had actually uh, um, released their Mantis but I remember seeing photos of uh, the pre Mantis yeah uh, CBS sci-fi I got those photos of, of cap in-game cap mech and I hate you he looks amazing yeah, I'll get mine probably in July. <laughs> I hate you, man. All you guys get your figures before me. I hate you. I don't hate. I don't hate any one of you. Uh, I'm. I am absolutely impressed by the the photos that you sent me of that in-game cap. He looks amazing. All right, so the um, the little antennae, or antennae, or antenna, are um, a little shifted there. I don't think they should be shaped in that manner. I, I don't think they're posable. So just a um, sloppy packing by, um, who's this again? Super Duck? Because they just threw it in the box. Um, that could potentially be a problem. They just slapped that bad boy in there. And, and uh, you can see we got a little bit of a twisty going on there. So... Hopefully, that's not an issue. What was her name uh, that played this, this character in real life? She seems like such a sweetheart. Watching some of her, I watched some of her um, interviews and all that. Oh my goodness, she seems like such a sweetheart. I like uh, her interaction with Drax. I've got to get me a Drax. Drax is like, you're ugly. Dude didn't pull nothing, did he? He, he literally just said how he felt. Okay, she looks amazing. Um, I see exactly who I'm supposed to be seeing looking at this. That um, that's amazing. You can see there the little bend in that. Um, if you guys have any ideas on the best way to bend that, be it hot water or what, uh, I don't want to destroy this at all. Um, she looks great. She looks great. I am um, pretty impressed with that. I see exactly who that's supposed to be. I don't look at this and see anybody else. That's that's what's important. You know, a lot of actors and actresses resemble other people. You know what I mean? And they always are called the other person. Like, um, well, I can't think of anybody right off the top of my head. But I know you know. I know you know what I'm talking about. And uh, so sometimes when uh, somebody does a head sculpt, they'll get a little confused and they'll be channeling the other person and not the person they're supposed to be making. And that'll reflect when you get this. Uh, and you'll look at them and you'll say, well, that doesn't look like so-and-so. There's something's wrong. And then you'll see it looks more like this person other than that person. But that, I, I, that looks who it, this looks like who it's supposed to be to me. In game Hawkeye Deluxe on the way. Max King, how's it going, man? Nice, just time for my cup of tea. Howdy. Thomas Ferry, hello, good morning. How are you? Uh, the box was battered when it came in, but very nice figure. It is the best one out there, maybe. Yeah, I hate you. I hate you, CBS Sci-Fi. I hate you, man.
<laughs> Good looking figure. Um, if you are a Cap here, if you are a Cap fan, and you haven't bought in game, something is very wrong with you. That's a great looking figure. That's it's great from the photographs that the CBS Sci-Fi sent me. That's a great looking figure. So it's the standard Spison S12D. Um, I've obviously taken all the excess of stuff out of it because I don't see it. Uh, the hands and the feet. <laughs> Where am I going to get hands? Because I got my Fison boxes buried back there. Um, I want to check the skin tone specifically. If you're not familiar with Fison figures, by the way, if you need any realistic figure for any of your figures, Fison or Jow Doll, uh, I have no complaints on whatsoever. These seamless bodies are amazing. Um, they uh, you have to be careful with them. Still, you know, you still cause them to break open. Um, you can cause them to bend. But when you can get figures for under $100 like this and um, be able to get the seamless movement. Now, on this figure, um, that is not necessarily a requirement because she's totally covered from head to toe. But when you have arms and elbows that are exposed and, and, and legs that are exposed or, or whatever, and you can just get that continuation without seeing any seam, it's, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So this S12D... Has no um, female parts there, just a mound. Um, you have a belly button, kind of an athletic abs stomach on here. Um, I think this is considered a large breast. It is. Uh, but, of course, compared to a gel doll. I keep pointing over here. You guys can't see this, Well, I'll just show you. Compared to a gel doll, it is not a large breast at all. Jaw doll has a large breast, but I think for this mantis, this is going to be the way go. And let's look at the skin comparison, and that's about dead on. So I don't think there's going to be any reason why I shouldn't use this body, which is what they recommended in the prototype images for this figure. So let's get her together. Martin Rygaard, thank you. Good morning. How are you? Good afternoon, wherever you happen to be. Uh, Universal Key, good morning. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. So I'm going to put this on here where it's sewn in the back. There's a little seam. That's I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make that the back. I said sewn in the back. I don't see a front and back necessarily specific direction here, but there's a seam right here. Normally the seam goes in the back, so we're going to make that the back. When I get done doing this, Fison, I'm going to start cracking open these boxes. What I need to do is, uh, since the majority of these are off of eBay, is I need to make sure that what the person told me they sent me is what they sent me. And if they said that it was new in box, by golly, it better be new in box. And... So you guys are wondering why I'm having problems with this. If, if you're not familiar with the channel, I, I have reduced sensation in my fingers from an injury. And I can't tell how hard I'm holding on to this. So I'm trying to pull it on here without continually dropping it. And she's not cooperating. She keeps wanting to put two legs, two of her legs into one of these pant legs. Now, there are people who will wrap this in plastic. Um, they'll put baby powder on it and, and of the sort to make it easier to slide these on. I've never I've done mm, the plastic before that works really well, and then after you get it on, you can remove the plastic underneath. I just didn't feel like doing it this time because I forgot about it until I started. I'm not going to go get me some plastic just to do this. 
So let's let's be Neanderthal over it and put it on, right? Instead of doing it the easy way, probably save me several minutes. Let's do it the hard way. Because why the hell not? No instructions come with this. I mean, what instructions are they going to do? Put the pants on the legs. <laughs> come on. We understand that. I really recommend putting something on this. I may have to get me some plastic, man. I can't get this up her legs. Oh, no. I'm going to have to wrap this. Gosh, dang it. Come on. I'm going to have to wrap it. I'm about ready to give up. Matt Twain uh, use an M34 for my Red Death Custom and my Bane. Nice. I need to buy me some male figures. Somebody had asked me one time if I've ever done any male figures, and I said I did not because I didn't require any. And then as I started thinking about it, I was like, you know, that's not true. I actually have a handful of figures that could benefit from a male Fison body. And I don't know the differences in the male Fison bodies. Like, I did not understand quite the difference of these female ones until I actually... You know, did them all. What is the problem here? This may just be too tight to get on here. That would be that would be absolutely insane if you could imagine that they would build this perfect pair of pants, particularly posable with a Python posable picturesque plastic-ish figure and not be able to put the pants on? How was that? Pretty terrible, wasn't it? I think what the problem is that I'm having is the waistband folded in, in on itself. So it's like double layer of clothing at this point because it's all rolled up instead of keeping it out like I should have. Because again, why would I do it the easy way when it can be done the hard way? This doesn't make any sense, right? So, There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now that I've folded the uh, the waistband of the pants down, it's happening now. By the way, in case you weren't cu you're curious, this Fison is very articulated. It's like you have a few boxes to open. I do, Thomas. I do. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open them to verify what is in them. And then uh, you guys can tell me what we need to unbox next. Christmas came late. Way too early to say Christmas came early. Way too early. Yeah, wrap you some plastic around this instead of taking so much time doing this. I don't know why I didn't. If you want to leave the plastic on, that'll keep this from staining the figure. But in all actuality, since you can't see the figure underneath it, and also in all actuality, because can't see the figure underneath it. I probably could have used a Hot Toys figure that I had. Uh, you know what? Actually, though, I'm thinking about her shoulders are exposed, aren't they? 
No, I'm, you definitely want to go seamless because of the shoulders. Not unless you happen to have a hot toy figure that does that uh, goes that direction. But I can't think of very many hot toys that are this color. The S12D, what do they consider it? Um, suntan. Suntan is what's normally defaulted as the hot toys figure color. Um, I don't know. I guess you can determine that yourself, whether you want to go with the Fison or, or Jow Doll or uh, one of the other companies that have, that have made these types of figures in the past. It's, it's really only her shoulders that you see, truthfully. So wherever you want to stand on that, in regards to that, will help you determine where you want to go with what figure you want to put on her. And what we're trying to do here is to get this crotch up to her crotch. And um, what what I do is I just kind of gently rock these to help it slide up this. If I wasn't smart enough to put some saran wrap on it in the first place. This little plastic wrap makes it really easy to slide on here. Really easy. And then you can just leave the saran wrap on if you want to. You don't have to take it off. And then, uh, like I said, I've seen other people put talcum powder on here. I don't know the good or bad about putting any chemical on here. But the good thing is you don't see the figure underneath it. So I about got this where I wanted, I think. I bought two Detoffs. And lighting for such. Uh, and what they cost me on the average after buying the lighting and the shipping of them are $100 a piece. So some of you all are like, how come you don't have a bunch of dead toffs? Well, because when I have $100 to spend and there's this real amazing figure that's for sale, I have to ask myself, do I want to put it in a dead toff or do I want to buy the figure? And nine times out of 10, 99 times out of 100, the figure wins. So. Um, I ended up needing to get some Detoffs, so I bought two of them. We'll be putting those together soon and get that up and ready. All right, I think this is looking good. I can finagle with this more and more, but I'm pretty sure this is uh, what we're going for here. And then we can move on to the next portion of putting her together. Not bad. And again, like I said, you can keep straightening these up. But I really want to know if you guys have any opinions on what to keep this material from flaking apart. Uh, I'm really interested in something that you guys know for fact works. I don't want to put anything on here that because you've heard somebody say that this is what works. The bottom of the shoe. Palm, what's her name? Palm, palm something or other, right? Martin Rygaard, yes. Question for when you feel floored, I'm ready. I would like to know more about you. What is your professional background? I am a systems administrator. So I um, work in the computer field. Um, I'm a jack of all trades. I've done just about everything you can think of for real. Um, of course, I grew up with computers. The first computer my family had, a TRS-80 Model 1, 4K of RAM. Traded that in for a TRS-80 Model 3, 16K of RAM. This is the entire processing ability of the, of the computer. And then we got the Commodore VIC-20, Commodore C64, but the Atari 5200, which is a computer slash video game system. Um, IBM, IBM PC Jr., 286, 386, SX, 46D6, DX. Then the, uh, the next one I had was a Pentium. And then they went up from there, one, two, and three, et cetera, et cetera. I started building computers myself back in the 90s. 
when the transition between Windows 95 and Windows 3 point was going on. And I remember telling people that were asking at the time whether they should buy a Windows 3 point computer or a Windows 95 computer. And I told them, I said, in my opinion, what I like about Windows 95 is also what I hate about Windows 95. Now, for the most part, every computer now that's processing, for the most part, every consumer computer out there that's processing run is, is runs the same way Windows 95 does. So Windows 95 started it all over again. Windows 3 point required a DOS uh, disk operating system or some type of boot sequence through a machinery in order for it to work. So I, I would tell them, I said, what I like about Windows 95 is what I hate about Windows 95. Specifically, what I liked about Windows 95 was that truthfully, you could then have more than one program running at the same time, where Windows 3 point only would allow, period, one program to run at the same time, at, at once. And so the advantage of that was you knew exactly who was coming and going in your computer. Your total privacy. You, only one program could run. Nobody could be doing anything in the background of your computer. Uh, Windows 95, of course, allowed us to run multiple programs, and it opened up the door for hackers to be able to get in or do whatever they want to your computer. Um, so that's pretty much my professional background in, in regards to what I do for a profession. And that's what affords me this. So I, I don't make, I, I never got my Cisco qualifications. I really should have. Uh, that's where the guys are really making the money. Um, so I don't make anywhere near six figures. I mean, I'm not even up in the upper thresholds of that. So I'm just a regular schmuck like you guys, but I don't spend, and I'm I'm not, I didn't insult you by saying that. I just mean, I'm just a regular person, like the like, uh, like majority of people are. Uh, I just don't have any other hobby to spend my money on. I don't smoke. I don't have a 200 pound dog that I feed. My kids are grown, you know, in that regards. So this is where I blow my money. And my wife is loving and supporting and she allows me this because the bills are paid. Now, if the bills weren't getting paid and I was buying these, there, there, there would be a serious problem. So these, these um, ankles went in here really nice. I didn't hear any popping though, so I'm a little concerned about that. But I love how they did this boot. I put the boot up over the leg. And so that's a good looking boot. It's a good looking boot how they have that. So that's my professional career. That's what I do for a living. That's what affords me this, this hobby. So we're going to take off this belt with the magnet, unzip her coat. Just far enough that we need to. I don't want to have to re-thread this. If it even comes all the way off, which I don't think it does, it might, but I don't think it will. I'd never be able to contain myself. Those would all be open to me <laughs> immediately. Uh, okay, so here's something that just happened. And it's easily fixable. So what they did was they glued a magnet to this piece to attach it to this piece with a magnet. And, then, and when I pulled it apart, the magnet was stronger than the glue. So that's fixable with a little super glue. You know, let's go ahead and just fix it right now. If I can get them in super glue. This super glue that I use, I love this. Um, which one's open? This one is. Harbor Freight Tools, man. This little thing costs know, a couple bucks. And I've used this specific bottle probably two years or so. Um, if you, if you, when you buy super glue in any other form, you don't get but maybe one or two uses out of it before the container is so totally destroyed you can't do anything with it. 
and I keep a, a little paper clip here to pop it open again because it seals up. Sometimes I have to use the pliers to shove it in, but this time I did not. And I'm just going to make sure that it's in there. And a matter of fact, if I have any glue on the tip of this, I can just probably apply that right on here. No, nope, no glue came on. We don't want to set this on the, this. I'm going to set it on this piece of paper. Okay, that was a lot. Soak it up with some paper here. All I need is just a little dab. Takes just seconds for us to glue. Putting it together to where it would be zipped. Let's just zip it back up. We're waiting for this to dry. hold it I get you really only have to hold it like a minute and it'll start doing its job but now this liquid liquid super glue in a container like this if you can find liquid super glue in a container like this this is what I find is the best thing and if you're collecting these figures you've got super glue you've got you've got you're having to repair your figures sooner or later so super glue is a great thing to have around I've never, I've never used a Macintosh Apple or anything of the sort. Um, it's funny. Uh, I'd always kind of looked on them adversely. So I don't have any experience in them at all. Um, I wouldn't even know how to turn one on. That's the God's honest truth. Now, my son-in-law is a big Mac guy and, uh, I don't know if he knows how to operate a Windows computer, to tell you the truth. California, do you live in Northern California? San Diego is Southern California. San Jose is near me, that's up in Northern California. Um, personally, some of the other collectors that I know I'll throw a couple of names out there that live in up here as well that I've spent time with personally. Sean Long and uh, Shardimus Prime. I can, I can consider them friends of mine. Gosh, you know what? This is so insane. So now the top one that I just glued on is glued to, but the bottom one is, is coming apart. <laughs> it's coming apart no matter. Even the one I just glued is not coming apart. So this isn't working well. Um... The magnet's stronger than the glue. That's all there is to it. So what we're going to end up doing is um, just not even using this magnet more than likely. The magnet is much stronger than the glue. So just set that aside. Let's keep this open and let this glue dry. Make sure there's nothing on my fingers. Danish. And you know what's so funny is um, I'm, I would I could you know what I don't know if I'm gonna get this on here without saran wrap. Jeez. I really I, I'm just gonna get some saran wrap, guys. Entertain yourselves. I'm gonna be just a quick minute. I'm not gonna spend another 30 minutes trying to get this on there. I'm gonna saran wrap that. Let me know if my boxes fall over.
cling wrap, plastic wrap, saran wrap, whatever you call it, wherever you happen to be. Shouldn't need much just doing the uh, arms here. Did the boxes move while I was gone, guys? You ever had that sound that happens when the house is still? You hear something fall over? And you're like, oh my God, what was that? And then you walk into your collection room and you can't find anything that's fallen over. And you keep looking and you keep looking and then you see that your Ant-Man took a dive. So I'm going to wrap just above the elbow, about middle of the bicep. I think that would probably do it. You can just rip this part. You don't need to use the scissors. It comes apart real easily. This should make this slide right on. Hopefully. And it does. Reference the photograph. Appears that the um, the braiding or whatever you want to call this is uh, can't think of a good word for it right now. Pleated cloth goes on the inside of her arm where the elbow bends, according to the photograph. We're going to push it up to, uh, and according to the photograph, looks like about middle of her bicep is where it goes to. So that was easy as pie using the saran wrap. So follow that direction. Don't try to do like I did with the legs. You'd have it on in seconds. Also, other things I guess that have helped my career, or this job, professional job, was I was a wedding photographer, videographer for many years. And did some advertising jobs as well in photography. So I have that education also. So I know how to make a good video. <laughs> I know how to do... A proper video. Um, I'm not the creative type. So, I, you know, these people that make these really creative, beautiful videos, not creative as such, I'm more analytical in that regards. But spending the hours and hours and hours and hours and hours making videos and then getting paid pennies or having to apply to these stupid, idiotic rules that YouTube does. It just isn't worth all the time and effort for someone like myself. It just doesn't reap the reward of it. This is just something I'm sharing with you guys. You know, I don't make money in YouTube. I really, t I don't make any money on YouTube to speak of. So, I don't know how these people are buying mansions and cars and stuff like that from YouTube money. Something's up. Because I ain't getting it.
So hopefully this uh, glue has dried well enough that I won't accidentally bang it against this figure or the suit. And let's get this suit on here. So fortunately, this is the back. So even if, you know, it's just the back of the suit, we won't see it. And that's unfortunate when you really get down to it and start thinking about some of these um, figures. They come with really detailed backs of them. And most of us never display the backs of our figures ever. And um, one of the ones that I do display the back of is my AOU Hawkeye because I like showing off the um, quiver that he holds his arrows in because I've loaded it to the max. I bought an extra set of arrows from one of you guys. There's, there's some of you collectors buy these figures just to take them apart and sell the pieces and uh, I've been very happy with some of y'all that do that because I'm able to buy heads, more arrows, feet, hands, and, and such, belts to customize my figures. And I, I would assume then that piece by piece, you're making the money back on your on your figure. I, I, I've never done that. I've never bought a figure specifically to take it apart to sell the pieces. But I'm thankful for you guys that do that for those reasons that I've used heads and hands and feet, belts and such to uh, build my characters, build my figures. Especially some of you that are straight up kit bashers. Wow, this is tight. Mantis is a requirement, I think, uh, in this. And uh, it's a crying shame that, you know, Hot Toys hasn't uh, released one yet. Absolute crying shame. I don't have her in my collection. So that's why I'm happy that these third-party manufacturers do this. And, of course, being a third-party manufacturer as such, it's an unlicensed product. So they can't actually call it Mantis. Or shouldn't. They can call it whatever they want. That was funny. Um, the Lady Deadpool made by Toys Era. The official name of it by Toys Era is Lady Katana. And I had this supposed artist just get totally belligerent with me claiming that me unboxing the figure and calling it by the name that the manufacturer called it Lady Katana was uh, in violation of his copyright because he supposedly owned the rights to the name Lady Katana. <laughs> My dude, you're arguing to the wrong person. I got no say so over what the hell they call this thing. She's Lady Deadpool as far as I'm concerned. The hell was her name? Wanda Wilson, I think was Lady Deadpool's name. Ah, oh, he was belligerent. I was like, whatever, dude. You want the 20 cents I made from the video from YouTube? You can have it. <laughs> CPM, cents per milli, cents per thousand clicks. You don't get paid for subscribers. You don't get paid for views. You get paid for advertising money 
by people who visit the advertisers. And you get paid two pennies for every 1,000 views or clicks that, some, that people do to the advertisements that pop up. I don't click on advertisements, man. I might. I mean, the odds of me clicking through an advertisement are pretty slim, to tell you the truth. So I'm not too pleased with this going on right back here. And that's the problem with that um, magnet not being able to function properly. They, they, they had, a obviously, a um, to make a decision in regards to the best way of handling that. And uh, thank goodness it's on the back of the figure, which we'll never see. Um, I'm able to tick it, tip, tuck it under. So I think we're going to be all right. And again, like I said, it's the back of this figure. We'll never see that. Now, those of you that display this on some type of a turntable or surrounding it with mirrors might be a little disappointed in that regards. Um, how's this belt supposed to go? Her butt is more ample than this belt is. So we have a weird belt placement. Let's look at the photograph. Doesn't look that different, really. Some wire in here would have been perfect for placing this to keep it from tinkerbelling out. I don't remember how it looked in the movie. Maybe it always held out like that. If it was down, then uh, wire would have been perfect for that. This is a figure that would probably need to be uh, revisited in a week after it's had a chance to settle in here to reposition some of this material. box it looks big I don't know we're gonna have to find that out <laughs> uh, is there any fison that are less busty palms thank you boobs are not that big there is uh, this is the large bust. There are smaller busts, and there are even more smaller bust figures now. Um, so, um, what you want is a suntan, interchangeable foot. Let's see what we have here. S12D. Suntan mediums, interchangeable, would be, if you want to go with a smaller breast, um, I'm going to suggest a 17B is a medium breast, interchangeable foot, S17B. S19B also is a medium breast interchangeable um because the entire body is covered up it doesn't really matter what the stomach or the um the privates look like 
So I don't know the difference between. That's not true. How dare I say I don't know the difference between the S17 and S19. I got it all right here. S17. Slender body with narrow shoulders. Uh, I wouldn't go with narrow shoulders. S12. Physique is more close to normal female with nipples but no vagina. So we don't want to go with the S7. We don't want to go with the S17 because of the narrow shoulders. S19, uh, slender body with narrow shoulders, same as SL2A. So both those have narrow shoulders. I don't. I don't recommend a narrow shoulder. Her shoulders are really what's selling this here. So I wouldn't recommend a narrow shoulder. Uh, 17, 19. What's the next one? 21 is large. 23 is a medium, interchangeable. What's the notes for 23? Athletic physique, more bulky leg muscles with streamlined muscular definition. Uh, I don't know if I'd go with a bulky leg muscle on this. Uh, what's the next one? That was a 23. Uh, 25B. Slender, shorter, and body height. You know, we don't want to go with a short one. Uh, what's next? 29B. Realistic body proportions are a bigger size that's plumper and more curvaceous. Why does that have medium size? And I put more plumper and more curvaceous. Uh, and big feet. Um, so you don't want the 29. Continuing on. Uh, S33, suntan medium, interchangeable. Realistic body, narrow shoulders, long legs, same as S35. So we're running out of options here. 33, 35, 39, interchangeable, suntan large. No. That's it, guys. You've got to use the S12D currently. Um, I don't have any notations here on any other one with the medium best with interchangeable legs that doesn't have the narrow shoulders. And we're going to want the wider shoulders. And we don't want uh, the thicker thigh because these, these pants are right on there. Uh, you don't want the bigger feet. Um, this is it. So, the suit as it fits her doesn't really um, make her breasts appear huge. And I'm, I'm going to have to look at Palm. I don't remember her last name. Starts with a K. So it's not like as if she's this huge breasted woman here. You understand what I'm saying? The um, the the uh, it all just seamlessly, well not seamlessly, but it all just seems to travel in a, in a in a proper manner of someone of such. I would say looking at this C cup, you know, compared to. that okay big difference all right we're nowhere even near that but no i don't i don't think there's any other body that i would use other than this that's the truth that's the truth and these shoulders are right at that outfit right there so gonna be some finagling on this figure no doubt about it everything doesn't want to fit specifically the way it, it, i want it to this belt this piece the zipper's wanting to come up <sighs> it's funny the way i just said that reminded me of that song uh i think it's ludicrous that sings it Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me go all out. Because he says in the line, he says something about. Um, you broke. I did it. I did it. I love my baby mama. I never let her go. Y'all gonna make me go all out.
up in here, up in here. Probably should put something to keep this zipper down. Uh, it wants to ride up easily. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me act a fool. I haven't heard that song in ages. No, so these are not designed to be moved, okay? So we have a problem with this uh, being bent as such. Um, I don't have a solution. But you can see there how they are bent. And now well, that's the extent of that. Meet me out back. Meet me out back. Homework assignment. Listen to that song. Ba 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 ba. Woo. Um, what is her last name? She seems to be the sweetest person on the planet on her interviews. I think she even visited Hot Toys. There's images of her there uh, not holding her figure, holding somebody else's figure. But I wonder if um, she was there to get, you know, sculpted up for her figure. Don't know, I would imagine. What y'all think? Did I do good waiting for the super duck? If you've seen the other. something with this hair make it closer to her head So no, this this body does not look out of proportion in this outfit for her. Uh, I understand your concerns because it's a, what's considered a large breast figure, but it doesn't look like she's just portraying these huge breasts. Uh, again, you know the problem here with this magnet, this piece just doesn't doesn't do what it needs to do. But when you're looking at it straight on, I think it uh, is a non-issue. Um, it's a difficult figure, obviously. It's why it took it so long. Same reason why Hot Toys hasn't released it yet. The complexities of the suit are causing some of these issues. It'd be interesting to see how Hot Toys addresses it when they finally get around to this in 2027. But no, I think this is fine. And I think the uh, the concern over the large breast bison is 
a uh, is a, a wash. It's it's a non-issue in that regards. So if you if you have not added a mantis to your collection, you didn't buy the other one, whichever whoever it was that made it, um, or if you bought the other one and didn't care for the suit and could possibly do something better with this, you know I'll recommend it. Um, I think the whole thing cost me less than 200 bucks when you get down to it. So how can you go wrong with a under $200 figure? You really can't, considering Hot Toys are pushing over 400 bucks now, right? And then creating crap. DMX, 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 thank you. You guys, you know the song. Thank you very much. Sorry about that, DMX, for not giving you the proper credit. Uh, it's a great song. I haven't heard it in ages. Why am I not able to move my chat? Here we go. Da, ba, da, ba, da. Uh, what do your kids think about your collection? Um, same thing. They tolerate it. <laughs> yeah, Hot Toys has announced that they are making her. That's absolutely correct. Uh, Siri, the most underrated. Thank you, Fractured English. Thank you very much. Uh, my kids love my collection. I thought they were obsessed with my Spider-Man and Batman and all things related. All my kids are grown. Uh, Shardamas! <laughs> love you, man. Thank you. That's nice to know that she's really nice. I, I got that feeling that she's just an absolute sweetest, sweetest person in the world. That's good. Thank you, Shardamas. Good seeing you, man. Uh, you wacky, stupid girls. Ho! You broke kid ain't yours, and everybody know your old man say you're stupid. You'd be like, so I love my baby mama. I'll never let her go. Palm Clem Clemtoff, thank you very much, Max. Uh, heat up the tentacles with a blow dryer and slowly move it back in place. Thank you, fractured English. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 2027. She looks great. Thank you. I agree. Um, she's gonna be a welcome figure to the collection here and you say shouldn't come with a figure base we've got lots of figure bases and stands all over the place so i'm not concerned about having anything to display her on um, so that's a non-issue as well so i want to check out these boxes see what in the world i've, I've actually got here uh, i know what i have but i have no idea so every one of these boxes i've got my little paper here i want to take notes on some things to make sure that what was told that I was getting was what I was told I was getting. So this is a um, it was shipped from I'm going to butcher his name man Chumin X-U-M-I-N Chino don't know what this is it's right this I'm not going to unbox all these. I just want to check them, see what it's actually in here, uh, um, and research them later. You guys can tell me what you think we should do next. I don't even know what this is. whatever it is so I gotta crack it open I have no idea what it is I love my baby mama I never let her go DMX thank you <laughs> okay sex toys this was a box of sex toys and hand, and uh, handcuffs and um, such, uh, massagers and, <laughs> and such. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna continue opening that anymore. But that's what it is: is vibrators and little one-six scale massagers to keep your figures happy. Sideshow collectibles, R2-D2, right? For some reason, I can't have enough of these. Obviously not brand new. I'm just going to crack it open real quick. 
see what the box looks on the inside. Big box behind me next. You got it. I have uh, one each of these, the exclusive and then the deluxe. And the difference was that it came with um, exclusive, I think, came with three additional arms. So this is just a regular deluxe. These days, I tend to uh, like paint these. <laughs> you believe that? Into the other R units, Astromex. So his little serving bar has come apart. Nothing that the little glue won't fix. Let's have a look at R2 here. Got a busted little um, eye up at the top there. So, that's not cool, dude. Note take that. Selling junk. You know you did me wrong. Hmm. Jonathan Henshaw calling you out, man. I'm going to check the eBay pictures and description on that. I have a feeling you didn't disclose that to me. Keep all the boxes I sure do on uh, not all the packaging so like all the little um, styrofoam and all that in between all the legs I tried to keep that at one point but I'll never shove that in there if I ever ship these off but I have all the boxes all the brown shippers the garage is full um, these go back into their brown shipper box after I take all the figures out all the pieces out put them in little drawers and catalog them and the structure manuals go into a uh, another folder that uh, keeps them together in case I ever need to um, research that. Uh, so this was, this was uh, make a note of this. Sideshow R2. Broken ocular. This came from Toys Wonderland. Uh, John D. hates Toys Wonderland. I've never had an issue with them. Interesting way of packaging it, I'll say that much. What Toys Wonderland offers is uh, the ability for you to get the figure shipped to you before Sideshow or anyone else can get it to you. Because they're going to go right there to Hot Toys 
on the day the figure comes out, package it up and send it to you in like two days. So if you absolutely have to have that figure right now, that is a great way of getting it. Um, and uh, he charges for that convenience. If you want to call it that? And you don't have to pay for that. He offers the figures in two manners. And I say he, I don't know who. It could be a, a woman running. I have no idea. Um, you don't have to have your figure right now. You know, you can buy what he calls second release. And it'll still probably get to you sooner than Sideshow would deliver the figure to you. The other thing that he sells, because he's not a, um, from my understanding, a Hot Toys authorized retailer, he sells used figures as well. And uh, so, you know, John Deke's like, oh my God, he's charging $800 for Mark 47. Yeah, well, it's used. That's what the market value was at the time. Um, he's like, He's ripping people off. The only way you get ripped off is if you buy something like an R2-D2 that doesn't have his little thing in there properly and um, you paid for that. That's when there's an issue. But if you knew what the price of the figure was when you ordered the gosh darn thing, then how are you possibly being ripped off? I don't understand that logic. You agreed to the price. What can I say? He's angry because John gets his figure slideshow probably for free. Universe Superhuman. I think this is, uh, I don't need to open this up anymore. I know exactly what this is. This uh, is uh, Captain Marvel by AC Play. I don't need to open up anymore. Mm. So I'd ordered pre-ordered Killmonger and then uh, you know life took a turn and Killmonger was one of the ones that uh, got removed from the list because I'd ran out of money when my wife had her party for rest. So I couldn't continue on with the pre-orders. I didn't lose them my Killmonger, my Winter Soldier with the dissolving arm. Uh the movie premiere Spider-Man. I've ordered five of those because there's one in each movie. Um, Doctor Strange from the, the second Doctor Strange. And I'm losing that. So and now I have a Killmonger. Uh, and I don't remember whether this is supposed to be brand new or not. Trying to look at the tape, see if this has been opened, and it has been opened. So I'm going to inspect it. But no, he also sells used figures as well. Pre-owned would be a better term for that. And uh, if it's a pre-owned figure, by golly, he sells it for what it's worth. John Deke says, you should never sell any of your figures for more than what you paid for it. So don't you dare, John D. ever, and I'm calling you out, man, sell a figure for more than what you paid for. Don't you dare. So if you got a figure for free, John, you better pass it on. That's all I got to say. And the reason I'm calling him out is because he pretty much banned me from his site for talking about Toys Wonderland, so I don't even care, man. Sponsored by any of these guys. Doesn't feel like he's been taken apart. He's been opened. 
but he doesn't feel like he's been taken apart. So I'm going to put him back together. I'm happy with what I see. Save this for an unboxing later. Of course, buying the figures straight from Hong Kong, from Hot Toys up there, you don't get the brown shipper. It's not being shipped. So the brown shipper is only for us international purchasers. There's no brown shipper there. Send it back, pal. Send it back. Lego. Let's go, man. I'm not going to be able to get out this door. All these unboxings, it feels like Christmas. Yeah, it's late Christmas for me in Collection Obsession. It sure is. Why did I not put this on my area, Killmonger? Oh, that might be my mama. I'll never let her go. Mm, 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 mm. Also, by the way, speaking of great people, man, if you guys have never watched the Sardimus Prime video, you're really missing out. And I can swear to God, I can tell you right now, he is a wonderful man. I, I know him personally. I, I, call, I can call him my friend. And uh, he is a wonderful father, wonderful husband. He is a great man. Um, so if you uh, haven't ever checked out one of his videos, uh, you're not going to go wrong. He's got a huge collection. He's been doing this for years. He's funny as hell. Talented drummer. Talented musician. Plays guitar. Oh, he's great, man. Check him out if you've never done so. He collects everything for the most part. A lot of 112 scale figures for the most part. But he's got hot toys. He's met Stan the Man. He's got the finger from Stan the Man. That palm, how can you go wrong? VGM 36 is this. What I'm hoping it is. 36. Iron Spider. Ah, okay. So, a couple weeks ago, if you remember, my negative suit Spider Man, I had him posed and uh, I damaged his. Uh, his leg, so I bought a new one. I'm gonna sell this negative suit Spider-Man on the cheap. So if you don't have a negative suit Spider-Man, that's been opened. If you don't have a negative suit Spider-Man, I'm gonna be selling one on the cheap. Gosh dang it. Now I gotta open this. Has it really been opened? Gosh dang it. I can't tell if that's been opened or if there's just a piece of tape in there that was yanked up out of that. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to this. I don't need to do an unboxing on it. I'm gonna do this later off camera. Find out what the status is with that negative suit Spider-Man. But I ordered a, a brand new one in replacement of it. I, I can't can't have that and so I learned a very valuable lesson on these Spider-Man figures you don't want to pose them in dynamic poses for long so if you're a photographer and you want to get pose posability pictures out of them go ahead and put them in the figure position take your snapshots for your collection for your wall whatever you're doing for your website put them back into the museum pose dude and negative suit Spider-Man is like not even two months old if I remember correctly and he's damaged up so, PE007A1. I don't remember what it is. It doesn't appear to ever have been opened. Brand new. Set it aside. We'll get to it later. I have to remember what the PE007A1. PE. Who's PE? Da, da, da. Do you like toys when I'm better than Big Dad Toy Store? Ah, 
I love Big Bad Toy Store. Four dollars shipping and handling. You can't go wrong with four dollars shipping and handling. You can't, how can you go wrong? Four dollars shipping and handling. Toys Wonderland offers the figure like now. Big Bad Toy Store gets the figure to me sometimes later than Sideshow would. Um, I search Big Bad Toy Store all day long. They sell a little bit of everything. So Big Bad Toy Store is a good store. You can't go wrong with Big Bad Toy Store. Toys went on in if you need it right now. Or uh, they have an extensive collection of used figures. I don't, I don't, I've never seen a used figure section on Big Bad Toy Store. And I say used, pre-owned is the term that we use, right? I got these IOU 3000 figures um, with the uh, the white suit, Robert Downey Jr. Love them. I bought two more of them uh, because they are great figures. These are the Tony Starks that have the interchangeable uh, chest. You could put three different types of arc reactors in there. Even more so if you happen to have any other Iron Man figure that you want to put in there. But, you know, those are the only ones we actually seen his chest on. And so I bought two more of these because I love those guys. Are you saving money buying used ever? Sure. Sure enough. Uh, yeah. It's possible to save money buying used. Possible. My opinion. I bought two more dead toffs down here on the on the floor. Cost me hundred dollars a piece. They sell for fifty nine dollars if you can deliver them yourself. And then I bought the uh, the LED lights that um, I'm gonna run down this. So the whole thing was two hundred bucks for two of them with the lights. So fifty nine dollars for the dead toff plus tax 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 and yada yada shipping and handling. And then those lights. Uh, so essentially hundred dollars a piece what they cost me. Okay, so uh, he taped the bubble wrap to the plastic wrap to the figure. He, she, again, it, they, who cares? You know what? The English language is such a crap language in the first place. Who cares what you're called? You know what I mean? Now, if we were talking a language which was more specifically designed in regards to gender-specific these and thes, which we are not, we don't have gender-specific nouns as such, whereas we have three versions of the word the, you know, I could understand somebody being angry about being called a he or a woman or a man or a congressman or a policeman. We really don't have a hard gender specific language. No matter what anybody says. I mean when you, when when the German language has der die and das. Three versions of the word the depending on whether you're talking about male, female, or neutral gender. We don't the that's all we say, just one. So, you know, I'm kind of over this. Uh, he said it was a he and it's a she. Who cares? Now, if I know you, if I know you, if I, if I intimately know you as a friend and you have told me that you want to be called she or if you want to be called fire truck or whatever, and then I specifically go out of my way not to call you that, then, yeah, I'm a full-on jerk and would deserve to be ostracized for that, right? But if I don't know you, and because we have such a shit language in the first place, I mean, for real, the queen will be the first one to tell you we don't speak our language. And the United States has no official language. So I'm not getting tied up in gender specifics anymore. If I know you and you say, you know, I want to be addressed in such manner and this is how I meet you 
If I didn't, if I didn't know you for 20 years, or no, if, let me see. If I'd known you for 20 years, I'd be calling you he, 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 he. And then one day you say you want to start being called she, and I slip up and call you he. You can't hold me responsible for that because for 20 years I've been calling you she. But if the very first time I meet you, and I have no preconceived idea over you whatsoever, and you tell me this is how you want to, want to be addressed, you know, Sir Elton John. I'll call you Sir Elton John. You know, I don't have a problem with that. But don't get angry at me for calling you something that I had no earthly idea that that's what you wanted to be called in the first place. So again, I'm saying he is because it's what's coming out of my mouth. And I don't know who it is that's doing this. And I don't care who it is that's packaging these up. I've never met the person, probably never will. So it doesn't matter. And even if they were to call me, if my phone were to ring right now from the person at Toys Wonderland that packaged this, and they just happen to be like a normal employee there, and like, well, my name is so-and-so, and I'm a he, and I don't appreciate you calling me a she, I'm like, all right. Are you going to be there in the next 20 years? Are you going to be the only person ever to package this? Because I'm just talking generically. This packaging is terrible, pathetic. It leaves a lot to be desired for. <laughs> I'm having to, I'm having to cut tape and box pieces that I shouldn't have to in order to get to this, get to this thing. Keeping my eye on the clock. I don't want to keep you all past the. Uh, Another 30 minutes. So we'll go as far as we can on these. So is this an empty box or is there something in it? Let's find out. This thing of Marty McFly by NECA looks good, nice. Where the face don't look off. Cool. I hope I get docked next. Oh, I need to get me a dock. I missed on that one too, man. The uh the dock ock figure. That's not what this is, is it? Is that what this PEO7 is? Is this Doc Ock? Where'd I put it? Is this Doc Ock, man? Is it? Is it? Please tell me it is. I don't think I've bought a Doc Ock yet. Netflix, punish your head. Uh, put them on top of my Punisher... Uh, War Machine. Even though that's supposed to be from the video game, I really will put that Netflix Punisher head on there at Frank Castle. I got the packaging open so I can get to the packaging. There's three more boxes in here. Finally get Disney Plus. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, I heard about that. I didn't read the whole article. Um, yeah, what the hell? You know what? I'm so sick and tired of this freaking bull. You know, here's PEO6. So I've got six and seven. I don't remember which is which. PE is made by um, 
This is that the premium edition Toys Era figures? PE? P06, P07. Those appear to be brand new. Call you anything you want, anytime you want. You got it, man. I'm going to start calling everybody Fire Truck. You know that Fire Truck over there? That Fire Truck was telling me that they were a Fire Truck. I said, I don't think you're a Fire Truck. He got all angry at me, so I'm going to start calling him Fire Truck from now on. Ned Leeds, uh, in the uh, in his um, school uniform with the face scope, which was my big complaint of this uh, first Ned Leeds character that they made. This was made by um, uh, Young Rich. Young Rich did these Spider Gwen, uh, Miles Morales that I really like. I don't remember if Spider Gwen was Young Rich. Yeah, the, the Young Rich made the Spider Gwen. No, wait a minute. Young Rich made the Miles Morales that I like. Really impressed with that Miles. Uh, I think this is the bullet head Spider Gwen that I got. PE007 A2. Can I order two of these? PE007 A1, PE007 A2. What did I do? The two boxes for one figure. Is this my Doc Ock? Just like his arms, this is super light. This thing's like floating in the air. The big box is empty. America, the first Avenger Star Spangled Band version. This was a figure that I totally missed out on as I wasn't collecting these scale figures at that time. PO7 Toys of the Green Goblin, thank you. Is the A1 and A2 the difference between the deluxe? No, it must be their second pieces. PO6, this is Doc Ock, nice. Thank you. Pre premier, premium edition, I think. Premier, premium edition. I think one of their first ones was uh, Cable. If I remember correctly, I don't remember which was the first PEO one. So you could have either, you could have, what was it, Cable? From Deadpool 2. I think they called the mechanical. So I want to look at this. Obviously, this is used. Pre-owned, pre-loved, pre-displayed, Captain America. So I'm going to open them up real quick. Yeah, I really was impressed with the first two seasons of Mandalorian. And uh, I don't know what it was she supposedly said. And I'm so sick and tired of social media, dude. I don't even want to go on social media ever again. I, I, I can't remember last time I even opened up a Facebook page. So I'm so tired of toxicity. People expecting, you know, I don't even care anymore. See, here's the whole thing. Here in the United States, you have a First Amendment right of speech. Be allowed to say whatever you want. And we respect each other's opinions. Doesn't mean I have to like it. And yeah, you got to be held accountable for what you said. But we've gone insane. We're holding everybody accountable for every doggone thing. Making people scared to death to say anything. 
And that was what we were never supposed to do. If you're not allowed to share your feelings and emotions, how can you possibly advance in, as a culture at all? By repressing everyone and everything? You're repressing speech. There's a negative side to that. There's going to be a very negative side to that if we continue doing it. So I'm just going to look at them over real quick. Put them back in the box. So just examining him, I don't see any damage. Just a quick examination here. He looks well. If you know any, if you know any problems with this figure, let me know. But he appears to be well enough. I'll unbox him later. I'll keep you past nine, man. Fifteen more minutes. That Toys Wonderland box is really way overpacked, packaged, taped up. Way, 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 way. It wasn't necessary for it to be that much tape and packaging. The figures came safe, so maybe it was. Bottom of the box I'm trying to open up here. I mean, it's cardboard, it will get opened. Grails right here, man. First Avengers Loki. Been wanting this for a long time. For real. Have to go out the window. I'm not gonna be able to get through that door. And it's not the original plastic. It's all right. put this in here sideways sure did again I just went and looked at this real quick this figure is like uh, 10 years old something to that effect right you're on it. Mm. 
don't see it right off the top of my head, so I'm not going to keep trying to find the year on it. Let's just see if, it's, if he's in here and how he looks. And, and the reason I'm doing this is because if I just leave these in these boxes for the next three months, I'll have no recourse. I've got to be able to give an answer now. God, this thing looks beautiful. Um, I'm going to give him a pass, as in a passing grade. figured out later. Uh, he's definitely going to be one of the ones that I'm going to be opening up soon. Moving on. Exclusive R2-D2. Yeah, man, for real. I'll be painting them, making red ones, green ones, pink ones. Ha, 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 ha. You believe that? That's what I tell myself. Gotta be able to dream, right? Like my Mark 7 pod that I worked on. It sits in the bag. Oh, uh, yeah, I got the Loki from Endgame, um, which is supposed to be the first year Loki. Uh, this is supposed to be the exclusive version, which is supposed to come with the six arms. Bond by Laser Toys, yeah, for the new movie. Well, nice. Is that uh, Danny uh, Craig? Danny Craig, is that the, the Bond in the new movie? He's been playing him for a few years, right? Is he still doing Bond? It's funny. I, I wasn't so sold on Dan. I wasn't so sold on Craig when he when the first uh, when he was being announced as the first Bond. He, he definitely grew on me. Okay, this is a deluxe it's exclusive. Yeah, nice. You got the same uh, Loki eight, right? Second Mark Seven diecast for for Pod. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, or like I've been working on and will probably work on for another two years, building my own Pod. Um, He's in a bag right now. Still got this R2. Uh, the other R2 is not in good condition, so I'm gonna check the price on it and see if I see if he see if, first off if see if it, if he said that that R2 is new, I'm sending it back. Swear to God. Um, if he pointed out that there's some issue with it and I got a good price on it, I'll repair it and I'll be fine. But that R2 was a mess. And the difference between the two R2s, by the way, on the exclusive, the R2 is white on the bottom. On the uh, regular deluxe version, he's like sand colored. And the exclusive comes with six of these little accessory arms and the and the deluxe. So the deluxe exclusive is white on the bottom and comes with the six arms. And the deluxe is uh, comes with like a sandy bottom like he's been dragging through Tatooine. Um, so that is the two differences between them. So... Other than that, the sideshow number is like the same. It's like 90246, whatever, and then they add the one, like they do to exclusive figures. But truthfully, it should have been a different sideshow number because uh, the R2s are different in regards to the paint scheme. 
of them. The white ship style R2 versus the sandy um, Tatooine style R2. It shouldn't have been the same size show numbers. It really shouldn't have been. Because R2s are different. How hard is it to release a volume two of Infinity War, Hot Toys, Mantis? It's not that hard. They have the technology. Yeah, uh, Green Weevil, good seeing you, man. I ain't seen you in ages. Uh, I got a Dr. Green on the order, by the way. Green Weevil is a huge Hulk fan. Huge Hulk fan. Love the, love the R2s, man. I, I love the R2s. What do I have sitting over here? How many R2s have I got sitting over here? R2-D2s specifically. I have four R2-D2s. I have a total of seven R2 units and uh, nine Astromex total, uh, plus the BB-8, two BB-8s and a BB-9E. I don't know if they're actually called Astromex, to tell you the truth. What do we have here? A light box. But no, Mantis, uh, obviously her uniform is um, just tricky. So. Tell us this. Pop Toys. So this came from Big Bad Toy Store? Big Bad Toy Store. So here's an, uh, a, um, a, uh, a figure that I bought for some reason. I think just to compare it to the Fisons and Jow dolls is a new player in the game. She has um, seamless elbows and seamless knees. Nothing else is seamless on her. Uh, real cheap figure. We'll have to get to this and compare it to um, Gel Dolls and Bisons as another alternative figure. Uh, let's see, what did I pay for this? There's my invoice. Big Bad always includes an invoice. There's no invoice here. I guarantee it was probably around 50 bucks. Pop Toys, this is the, um, we'll get to this later. Okay, five minutes. Bust A Suntan, little bust. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Should I keep going, guys? I really need to have these open to see what it all is so I can know if I need to send it back. Like that R2, it's probably going back. You for real don't need to package the entire thing covered in tape. <laughs> I imagine it strengthened the box, so I'll tell you that much. Maybe the box was just uh, super thin. Maybe the shipper's like, you can't ship it in this box, man. This box has got no strength to it. So he taped it. Put corner protectors on it, too. Nice. Where'd this come from? Came from down the street. Another one that I ended up missing. Female Venom, we'll get to her later. I don't need to open that up anymore. 
continuing on. You guys don't mind if I stay a little longer, do you? You got it, man. We're going to go through these to find out what it is. And then you guys can tell me which one you want me to unbox next week. Set it up. Set it up. Professionally packaged. This looks nice. This guy went overboard? No. Nice paper wrap. Packaged well. Thank you. It's nice. It'd be a nice gift. Oh, okay. So this was is um, the Deadpool. I wanted another Deadpool. I've got. Um, so many things I wish I could do with Deadpool. I'm going to look at his wrists real quick. Because they come apart there. Especially if it's a first release Deadpool. So this is Deadpool from the first movie. Can't have too many Deadpool, man. He looks great. Um, like I said, I want to look at these wrists. They look great. So initial assessment. There's a passing grade. I work. I need like four dead tops just for Deadpool. He'll become one of my favorite characters. I didn't know anything about him really from the comics. Yeah, I'm a full on Deadpool fan. Uh, movie fan. Ryan Reynolds created Deadpool. Uh, even in the uh, the X-Men version of him as well. <laughs> so that's a passing grade that Deadpool is. Well packaged. Another grail of mine. Full on straight up grail. Netflix Punisher. Full on straight up grail piece right there. <clears throat> um, so all y'all that think Hot Toys is re-releasing these figures because they love you, where's the Netflix Punisher? How come he's not being re-released? Looking for signs of this being opened. Um, it's hard to tell. I'm going to crack it open. It's a 
it was very difficult to see whether or not that plastic tape, uh, the circle of circular round tape that they put the hot toys puts on, if it, if it had been opened up or not. It, it, if it had, it was very well sealed in regards to the evidence of it being opened. So I'll say that much. Yeah, I really miss getting this figure. Next Deadpool figure. Why? Why should I have it the Tom Cruise head sculpt? I don't understand that. Is there, a, is there a feud going on there? Yeah, I think this has come out of it. Just throw the hands down there, why don't we? I think this has come out of its package. This is definitely not brand new. Uh, very well repackaged. I'm gonna give him a pass, uh, but he's definitely been out of the box. No doubt about it. No doubt about it, um, which kind of concerns me because uh, somebody is being, they're hiding something, I believe. And I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. It kind of really bothers me. I'm going to have to check and see if, if he listed it as new. Uh, and I will go over this with the fine tooth comb. If he, list, if he or she, if the fire truck listed this as brand new, I'm going to go over this with the fine tooth comb. And I'm going to clean some clock if it's not. Which is my every right. So... We will go through that together. As a matter of fact, he's on. He's on. This is this is next week right here. I'll tell you that much right now. <clears throat> this is next week, right here. Netflix Punisher, because it was so well repackaged to appear brand new. And and again, if he listed it as pre-owned, then that's a different story. Okay, um, I'll accept that. But I'm going to tell you right now that there's a level of deception here which has been applied to the package, repackaging of this figure. Something's up. Something's up. I've opened up enough Hot Toys in my lifetime that I know what a brand new Hot Toy is supposed to look like. That ain't it. I mean, I, I would have to consider myself an expert in regards to unboxing Hot Toys figures, at least for the MCU. And that one ain't brand new. And that's fine. Unless he said it was brand new. Buddy, then we're going to have problems. All right, so one of the things I needed to do, I've got my 1-6 land speeder, and I needed to get the collection for the guys to go around the 1-6 land speeder, and I've bought me those pieces to go around them. I bought Sand Troopers, I bought Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I bought Luke. And we are going to get that land speeder displayed with Luke and Obi in there, old man Ben, Trooper standing around it. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Oh, and I made a really insane purchase. Oh, I'm not even going to tell you guys about it. You know, just wait till you see it. Um, so I'm not going to open up these sand troopers here to inspect them. 
you know, uh, they were relatively inexpensive. Uh, I'll take them for whatever they were worth. And uh, I'll be happy to get them. We will get through these sand troopers. I got a bunch of them. Ordered little platoon of sand troopers. So I've got the corporals, the sergeants, the white, the orange, black, what is required to do the interrogation of um, Luke and Ben and tattooing. These are not the droids you're looking for. You may go now. Move along. Move along. Okay, we're down to uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven boxes. Oh, just say never last. Who is that? Oh, you know who it should be, actually. I, I mean, isn't it Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds that have that little, uh, thing going on. They're probably best buds, but they sure act like they are competing against each other constantly. And Hugh says he's done with the Wolverine, right? He's not doing any more Wolverines. He really did a great job bringing them to life, didn't he? Yeah, here we go. There's another Stormtrooper. And, and truthfully, you know, I'm, I'm going to be bold here and say, and it's probably a stupid thing to say, I'm not going to be too anal in the condition of these Stormtroopers. I'm really not. I'm going to hope that they're well. That's all I'll say about that. That's my third Stormtrooper opened up. I've got one that I owned before originally. but uh, So now I've got three more. I think you need five to be able to recreate that accurately, right? of a new hot toys i'm with you man and yeah uh so by the way talking about the people will say i only opened it up to make sure that it was really in there whatever here's the important thing about somebody doing that okay there is an advantage to that if you buy this figure from can i say for instance i buy a brand to make a new one like it just came straight to me from sideshow i literally then take that figure and put it right on sale to ebay and i've never opened it Okay, and then you buy it, brand spanking new, never been opened, open it up, and it has a defect from Hot Toys. You have no recourse because you weren't the original owner, even though you opened it brand new. So I guess there's the advantage to them supposedly claiming they opened it up only to inspect it. If you believe that that's really what's going on, you know what I mean? Because they are the only ones that have any recourse in regards to there being an issue with the figure. So that's the uh, the side of that. Um, I don't know what this is. Aha! Aha! The Fat Viking. Um, I threw the box already. I uh, I think I got this from a toy store. Um, 
I think this is new. I'm going to box him back up. We're going to get to him too. Depending on how long Punisher takes next week, I might do him with the Punisher. I wonder where I bought this from. Any ideas? Trying to find a, a seam on this to cut. I mean, it's a cardboard box. I can get the gosh darn thing open. We have the technology. We can disassemble it. No disassemble number five. It's a flap to nothing. It's just a piece of cardboard put on the end here. What in the world? This, uh, this packaging is intriguing me. You know what he did? Uh, you know what the fire truck did? Was um, put this piece of cardboard flap to cover the cardboard seam there. It's pretty clever. I've not seen anybody else do that before. It's really interesting. Thomas, thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. You sure can. Uh, all the information is underneath there. Sure enough, man, I'm going to sell them on the cheap. Talk about the negative suit, Spidey. Thomas, go ahead. Make me an offer, man. I damaged him. So obviously, I'm not going to sell them for brand new, but I'm not giving them away. But you'll get a deal. Or whomever wants it. Make a fair offer. You see what it is? Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, right? Spider-Man 3. Because Andrew Garfield only had two Spider-Men. I don't remember whether this is the uh, red suit or the black suit. And I know there's problems with those um, Spider-Men. box looks amazing. Normally these legs get all busted up. So this is a good sign. This box looks pristine. Um, 
this box is freaking amazing. This is definitely uh, probably going to be done week after next with Punisher and um, the Fat Viking next week. Most positive I'll be able to get through both of those guys in next week's show. And this will be next. Oh. Oh. I really hope this is beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a fire truck, a little trucker. Hey, gosh darn trucker. Mother trucker. Oh, this is looking. Oh, my God, I'm so. <sighs> so, I'm going to do it once over on this suit. Um, they have problems. I mean, they have a lot of problems. These guys do. Um, I'm just hoping that I have lucked into a really nice one. Oh, man. He's looking good. Just an initial appearance here, and that's why I want to get to him real soon. Uh, just initial appearance here. He looks amazing. Um, holy smokes. Yeah, uh, this has been a grail. Oh, my God. So, yeah, we'll be getting to him two weeks for fact. Next week's going to be Punisher and the Fat Viking. Week after this, Spidey. For absolute fact. Absolute fact. Interesting that this goes on top of that, isn't it? Was there not a box? Was there not a um, a sleeve over that? Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, this box is pristine. I think this was even listed as new. Um, and I'm inclined to believe it at this point. New never displayed type of a new. Down to the wire, guys. Yeah, um, with the, uh, didn't they do a classic suit that uh, you can buy now? Um, so I'm hoping that they'll do that because if I remember correctly, isn't the Sam Raimi in the black suit available in that PlayStation 4 video game as well? And if, so if they continue making, the rest of those Spider-Man will get a Toby and an Andrew Garfield, right? We should. If, if things continue going. So... In the Marvel lineup of characters, their number one character in regards to money made has always been Spider-Man. That's their guy. Uh, they've always made more money than anything on Spider-Man figures, uh, Spider-Man merchandise. Um, even though at times X-Men had been more popular or, or Wolverine had been more popular or hell, Deadpool has been very popular, you know, even though those seasons come and go over the extent of the life of the entire franchise... Spidey's been their guy. Uh, so it just doesn't make any sense not to make all the Spider-Man. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Even for us collectors that... Or I should say, even for collectors that aren't full-on on to Spider-Man, 
you know, Red and Blue Spider-Man not going to go wrong. So remaking a Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield Spider-Man from the PlayStation 4 video game, how can you possibly go wrong there? For real, I, I, you can't. So if they don't do them all, if they don't do all 40 of them or however many figure suits that they made in the PlayStation 4 video game, um, the uh, Black Widow from... Um, um, Captain America 2. What the hell is Captain America 2? Even if they even if they don't make all 40 suits, it would it would not be to their it would be to their detriment not to make Toby Maguire and Andrew Garfield from there. This gives the sense that this is new. It smells new. So it's like it's never been opened. They've done a good job with this if the, if it has been opened. And again, I, I if 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 I'm buying a pre-owned figure, I have no problem with that being a pre-owned figure. If you got a pro if there's something broken on it, if something damaged on it, let me know. I mean, I can either fix it myself or make the decision if I want to fix it or whatever. You know, there's nothing wrong, and there's nothing wrong with selling your damaged figure. Okay. Just make sure that the person knows what's going on with it, that you're selling it to, and let them make the decision. There's no need to be deceitful over these. Truthfully, the difference in price between it being in pristine condition and damaged is not going to be that great. You're not selling the gosh darn thing for $10. I can't imagine it being so damaged that you would sell it to anybody that have any interest in it and only be able to make and only be able to sell it for $10. You're not going to make any money off the gosh darn things, for real. It's really few, few Winter Soldier... Um, uh, Black Widow. It's really few and far in between that you'll make money on these, you know, in the quick turn. All right. Sure, there's people that do, but uh, you know, the Mark Forty Seven for eight hundred dollars, Hella for five six hundred bucks, Netflix Punisher for the dollars on that. They're rare, 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 rare that that, that happens. The majority of figures you actually get them less if you wait on them than getting them new. Uh, this uh, looks really good. It's really hard to tell if this has been opened or not. Um, give her a look. She's uh, She's got some problems, too. Historically, this figure does. So I'm going to check it out real quick. This will be... Uh, this will be one that's definitely going to be opened up soon. Unboxed soon. Let's have a look at her. Okay, so it's definitely been opened. They've gone through a lot of work uh, to make it look like it has never been opened. This has definitely been opened. There's no new hot toy smell. And again, you know, that level of deceit makes you real nervous when you really are going doing your best to make it appear that it's never been opened. So I'm going to check it on the listing and see if the listing says brand new never been opened uh, and if it does i'm gonna go over this with the fine tooth comb and there's gonna be some problems this fire truck's gonna be in trouble she looks great initial assessment she looks great but i'm gonna go over with a fine tooth comb uh, i'm also going to check the listing and see if it says new this is not this has been opened i, I removed from the package this just this, this has been this has been touched. So, and again, I have no problem. I mean, I, I, if I'm buying used pre-owned figures, I understand that. But be upfront about the damage. The ten dollars that you're going to not make on it for selling it pre-owned, damaged, and selling it new in the box difference is is just isn't worth it. It really isn't. You know. 250 bucks, 220 dollars. So what? You lost 30 dollars. Big freaking whoop. The figure's damaged. Get over it. But now at least you've shown me where damage is, and I can make a decision as to whether or not something I can live with or repair. I might have the ability to repair it. You know what I mean? If this guy, if this fire truck, this this is pre-owned, I'm fine because I don't see any damage to it. I don't see any damage. Just initial assessment. 
if they listed this as new, which is what I'm, I'm inclined to believe with the level of uh, packaging attention to detail that's put, put into this, I'm going to go over with the fine tooth comb. There better be nothing wrong with it. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. So we're going to open her up with um, probably with Spider Man. We'll get it figured out. Let me make my notes here. Stop taking notes. Let's see, so we got. Um, 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 Punisher. Fat Viking, I'm almost positive he's new. Spider-Man 3. And uh, Black Widow. Uh, Winter Soldier. Right? Yeah. I love my baby mama. I never let her go. NKSG, where have you been? I ain't seen you in ages, man. Is it because it's way early that I'm up here doing the show? Good seeing you, man. Good seeing you. Little trucker. R2. Got him down here already. Broken ocular. First one of this. First one I wrote down there actually that's got a problem. Peanuts, man. Popcorn. Try to keep these from going everywhere. I've seen anybody package the popcorn. One thirty a.m. Well, thank you for getting up early, staying up late, whatever it is you're doing. Save all Mason. You're just now getting in here, man. Good seeing you. Welcome. Long show because uh, I'm going through my Christmas unboxings. Looky here. Looky here. Looky, looky. Have a peek at him. Now, obviously, this one, there's no way that this guy would have said this is new. This has definitely been opened. I'm not trying to hide or conceal anything here on this guy. Uh, if he did say new, then we do have a problem. I just want to check out the figure. Just look it over real quick. Oh, this is. Yes, yeah, this guy wasn't trying to conceal anything, okay? Um, and that's the way it should be. There's no plastic wrapped all over, nothing sealed up. Doesn't make it look like as if he's as if he's never been touched. It's obviously been gently displayed, touched, opened up, whatever. You know, that's fine. I have no problem with that. I don't mind buying a pre-owned figure, especially if I know what damage is already associated with.